Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to a new tool I wrote. This is a tool I wrote to just help me when I'm playing mods, but I'm just putting it out there if in case other people want to use it. Now, this is the tool here, this little button thing. It just It's called two Tool Move Hover Object. And all it does is allow you to add to any mod. All you need to do is import this tool in a hotkey to move things around. Okay. And you can move them anywhere you want and you can set it all up very, very easily. And the way it works is like, well, let's, uh, let's show you. Basically, if you go to the options and you come to game keys, you'll see a whole bunch of new keys in tool move objects. Now I've given you five hot keys, which means that this mod will allow you to have five different locations that you can send things to. So you can send them to bins, you can send them to discard piles, you can send them to you know, resource bowls, whatever you wanna do without having to manually do it. And without the mod itself having that supported, you just import this tool. Okay, so I've, made one to five so i can go and i've and i've just assigned them the uh, keypad you know like you know the numpad so i can go one two three four uh, i say hit three twice four and five okay or also it also works on selected items so if I've got all these things selected and I press the button, it'll move everything that you've currently got selected. If you have uh, things in your hand and you press the button, it'll still do it. Okay. Now you might note that some things have been left behind. Like when I did that drag select and I pressed the button, only two things moved. And that is because the mod uses tags to make things ignored. So if you, you can force something to be ignored if you don't want it to ever move. It'll also ignore anything that is locked. So this uh, this thing here, if I press the button, nothing happens, but if I unlock it and I press the button, it'll then move, right? If I lock it and I press the button, it won't. If I unlock it and press the button, it'll move, okay? I'm just going to load this back up again to refresh to the mod. So the way that that works is if you go into the game keys, I've also added a little, a couple of things to do the tagging. So you've got print tags, remove tags, add ignore, or add include. I'll talk about that at the end. So let's have a look at print tag. I've done that to keypad seven, and I've done remove cat tag tags to pick keypad eight. So if I go to this blue one and I press print tags, you can see in the bottom corner in the chat window, it now says object name has tool move, ignore me. And that's the tag. So anything with that tag will not be picked up no matter what it is. Okay. This one here is just another object I just quickly made. If I print out the tags on this one, you can see it's got a whole bunch of other tags. And that's because modders will all use a lot of tags. So the chances are, if it's got any kind of complicated mod, you're going to have tags on it. So this one, I've got six tags. Two of them are from this mod, the move tool move mod. So there's tool move ignore me and tool move include me. So there's a button that you can find in game keys, which is remove tags. So if I just click that on this one here and I remove the tags, so it says removing move tool tags. And now if I print them out, you can see that all the original tags are still there. Only the move tags were gone. And now, of course, it can be moved, all right? So if I just load that up, it, with it. I can't move it because it's got tool court, uh, it's got the ignore me tag. I remove the tags. It's got all the original tags, but it can now be moved because it doesn't have the ignore tag. So that's a very easy way you can do that. So if I load this up, these cards here, right? So if I, I can move them, right? See how I can move those cards. But if I go to the mod and I add those cat tags, 
So I press the key, and remember the hot key is in here, game keys, add ignore tag. You can see it says adding move tool tags ignore, and I'll just add it to this one as well, and I'll add it to this one as well. And now when I do the, uh, the move, they're ignored. So it's as easy as that. So if I click on it, nothing happens. But if I clear it, it'll move. And that is the way the ignore tags work. So how do you control where it moves? Very, very easy, actually. If you look at the tool itself, you right click on it, you'll have the name at the top, then you have this little information in the description. And at the bottom, you have a little switch for only tagged. I'll talk about that in a sec. To see the GM notes, you must be in the black user, okay? If you're in any other user, if I go to white and I click on it, you can see you can't see the GM notes. So if you're on black, you can see the only tag thing. I'll talk about the end. But basically, if I just uh, switch to notepad just to make it a little bit clearer, that is what the description looks like. There's one, two, three, four, five buttons that you can set. And this is just a position coordinate for where you want it to get. And the way you get that is, so if I get this, I'll just stick this here. And I just click, click on the toolbar, click on the gizmo, I click on the object and I get my location. And I hit that little copy. And then all I need to do is go in here and I'll just get rid of everything. You just go one colon control V to paste and that is that. Okay. And it doesn't need to be a, uh, a bag. See, I just had a bag there to make it easier. So if I do it again, it'll still go to that one location. And if you click on multiple things, it'll, uh, you know, do it like that. So that is the way to add it. Now, you know, note, we've got five key, key bindings, but we've only got one location set. So if I press any of the other ones, it's not gonna error. It just knows that I haven't written them in. But all you need to do is just make as many as you want. So if I wanna go to here as well, I just go bam, copy, right click on here. I just go two, I just go two colon, Control V to paste. And now, if I click on it and press the two key, it'll go to that location. Easy, easy. And remember, of course, you can do things that you've got picked up. You know what I mean? But there's something else you can do. If you are in, uh, you know, the black hand, the administrator mode, you get another option down here called only tagged. If you change that to a plus instead of a minus at the beginning, it'll now only move tags that are tagged with include. And again, just the same way as the ignore works, there's a tag here to add includes. So if I look at this blue one, right? I print it out. It has tool ignore me, right? It's got a tag called ignore me. But this one here has a tag, has no tags at all, right? And this one here, this little chip, if I print that one, it says include me. So now if I grab all these and I press the move button, it only moves the ones that I've told to be included, okay? So this one here, if I print it out, it does not have include me. If I add the include me tag by pressing the key binding, and remember it's in key bindings, it's added the tag include, and now it'll move. And that is pretty much how the mod works. So how would this function in reality? So basically, say I've got this mod here. This is a mod that I've been using recently, teaching myself how to play the Heroes of Might of Magic, the board game. Okay, so this is just load. This is the Heroes of Might of Magic mod. I just loaded this up. This is a mod that I've been playing a bit recently. So if I just come down into here, go into game keys, you can see there's nothing in here except the... Uh, the stuff that he's already put in there. 
But if I go to option objects, uh, not objects, if I go to games, I go to my mod, I just search it and I just grab my tool, drag it out. Now I go to game keys. All the keys are now there. So I'm just going to make one here. I'm going to make that one and I'm going to make another one that says two. Okay. And the reason I'm going to do that is because this mod is sort of semi-scripted. So like basically the way it works is if you're fighting people and you kill them, you can uh, drag them to here and they'll be discarded. There's also buttons. If you're, uh, if I just play the Inferno, if I want to, if I've recruited these guys and I want to fight, I have to select them, come up here, move up here and uh, do all that kind of stuff. So what I can do is now that I've got this mod here, I can just put this where I want it to go, right? Copy it and right click here and paste it in. I'm just gonna call it one colon control V. And what I might also do is this as well. Okay, so if I just click on that, copy it, right click, two colon control V. Now I've got two hotkeys. If I press the two, it'll automatically discard this to the, the trash, right? And that'll be discarded as it works, or, and I can select things and press the one key and they'll be moved here for me. And that's an example of how you can use this if you want. Now, this is a decently done to you. It's actually got a clean up battlefield options and stuff like that. But still, the point is, that is how you use this in a real mod. You just import it in, set your keys and, you know, use it. And that's an example of how I use this mod. So yeah, this is called hover object and it's just a little tool to allow you to set up automatic movement things to send things to the trash cans, resource bowls, discard piles and all that kind of stuff, even if the modder has not added it to their mod. Hope you like it and I'll see you guys next time.